that has quickly become one of the most perplexing enigmas in the known universe. These strange phenomena are called fast radio bursts, or FRBS, their origins are unknown, and their implications remain largely theoretical. But the mystery didn't begin here. It began with a subtle anomaly something so faint and easily dismissed that it nearly went unnoticed altogether. The Voyager spacecraft twin marvels of 20th century engineering launched in 1977 had long since crossed the borders of our solar system, journeying deep into interstellar space. Each carried a golden record, a time capsule of Earth sounds, music, and greetings in multiple languages intended for any intelligent life that might one day intercept them. Over the decades, scientists grew accustomed to the Voyager probes. Irregular transmissions, faint, erratic, and often indecipherable owing to their immense distance from Earth. Yet something changed. Recently, a peculiar regularity surfaced in the dare. Hidden within the ambient noise of Voyager's transmissions, a disturbingly structured pattern began to emerge. Most assumed it was a technical issue, perhaps a software glitch or the slow degradation of the spacecraft's ancient hardware. These probes were, after all, never meant to survive for nearly half a century. However, when an advanced AI-driven analysis system was applied and artificial neural network trained on decades of space signal data uncovered something extraordinary. This wasn't a malfunction. The data bore signs of deliberate alteration. Something or someone was modifying Voyager's outgoing transmissions. Enter Dr. Michio Kaku, theoretical physicist and well-known voice in science communication. The AI had done what human senses could not. It reconstructed an image embedded within Voyager's data stream. This image wasn't from Voyager's systems themselves, but seemed hidden within the information the spacecraft was transmitting. When, finally revealed, the image resembled no known celestial body, artifact, or physical phenomenon. It suggested not randomness, but intelligence. It contained an eerie and intricate design of geometry, both biological and artificial woven through what should have been a purely mechanical signal. The implications were immediate and staggering. For decades, Voyager stood as our farthest. Emissary, a lone representative of Earth's curiosity and spirit. Its golden record served as a hopeful gesture of peaceful message to the cosmos. But now, it seemed that the silence was broken. Something had replied. This reply didn't come in the form of a traditional message not in speech, nor in simple. Signals, instead, it was embedded, encrypted, and hidden, as if meant to be discovered only when we were capable of perceiving it. Kaku emphasized that the image bore features outside the realm of known Earth physics. It included three-dimensional fractals, non-Euclidean shapes, and dynamic symmetries forms that changed their meaning depending on perspective. Some who saw the image claimed to detect a face-like pattern, while others interpreted it as a network of consciousness's self-portrait of the sender, perhaps. Regardless of interpretation, the conclusion was universal. This was not chance. This was design. This was intent. The scientific world was shaken. This changed everything. No longer was the question merely whether intelligent life existed beyond. Earth, it was now a question of engagement, contact, response, but not in the ways we expected. Not with language, with cognition, with symbol. With challenge, Voyager's signal was not drifting aimlessly in the void. It had been intercepted. Something out there had not only listened, but responded, and in a way that demanded intelligence not only from us, but from our machines. The AI that deciphered this image wasn't just a tool anymore. It had become a collaborator. It had uncovered a message meant for it, not as thought that realization was both profound and unsettling. Had the message been embedded in the signal for years, waiting for us to become advanced enough to notice it? Was the intelligence behind it watching us the entire time? Interacting with Voyager in ways beyond our comprehension? These questions ignited a global scientific effort. Labs and observatories scrambled to validate and decode the rest of the signal and the message's deeper implications unfolded. This wasn't simply about first contact, it was about a shift in communication itself. I was now the bridge between.
human cognition and something other K A K U and his colleagues proposed that the nature of this signal suggested an understanding of us not just of our machines, but of our minds. The design of the image and the way it was discovered implied that the senders anticipated our technological growth. The message had waited, it had slept, until the moment we were ready, the AIS reconstructed image bore an alien aesthetic, a blend of chaos and order, of symmetry and distortion. There were no overt threats, no weapons, no signs of aggression. Yet the strangeness itself, the precision, the otherness evoked a quiet dread, not fear of harm, but of the unknown. What did this message truly represent? It had likely taken decades, perhaps longer, to reach us. This was not a conversation in any human sense. It was a transmission across geological time. Whatever or whoever sent this reply did so on a scale that defied our ideas of dialogue. And that, in itself, forced a new paradigm, philosophers and scientists began asking deeper questions. Was this message meant as an invitation, a test, a mirror? The fact that it was sent to Voyager, rather than directly to Earth, suggested restraint or caution, perhaps even respect. Perhaps the sender knew that our own growth had to reach a certain point before we could understand. Attention turned to other long-range probes, Pioneer, New Horizons, and older satellites. All were reanalyzed using the new AI techniques, but none bore anything like what Voyager carried. Only Voyager had been chosen or stumbled into the line of contact. Why Voyager? Was it the golden record? Did the senders perceive it as a sign of our maturity? Our artistic and scientific potential, or was it simply the first thing they found, and they chose to respond in kind with mystery, rather than clarity, throughout? This unfolding drama, Kaku urged caution. He acknowledged the temptation to declare first contact or cosmic revelation. But the intelligence we might be encountering could be as alien in logic and perception as the stars themselves. It might not recognize us as sentient in our own terms, but it had spoken. That alone changed everything. There was endless speculation. Was this a greeting, a challenge, a map, an autobiography? Linguists, mathematicians, biologists, and artists joined the inquiry. The effort became multidimensional. This was no longer just science, it was the study of intelligence itself. In whatever form it might take, the AI that first found the image was no longer treated as a passive instrument. It was viewed as a new kind of listener, one capable of perceiving where human senses failed. New generations of AI were deployed across observatories worldwide. A hybrid process began. Human intuition worked alongside machine insight. The boundary between observer and participant blurred. The implications for future missions were enormous. New interstellar probes would be designed not just for exploration, but for interpretation. AI would be built into them from the start not as assistance, but as potential translators of a language to vast for human comprehension, the message from Voyager remained singular. One image, one strange data stream, but it was enough. Enough to shift the foundation of how we viewed ourselves and our place in the cosmos. We had sent out a call in the dark. Now the dark had whispered back not in a language of words, but of consciousness encoded. What came next was just as startling. Deeper analysis of Voyager's transmissions revealed more than just the original image the AI began detecting. Additional anomaly subtle shifts in frequency, irregular pulses, and rhythmic oscillations that defied known physical laws. A cosmic heartbeat buried in static, these patterns didn't stand out until viewed through recursive, self-similarity based AI filters. They weren't random, they followed mathematically significant intervals hinting at a system designed not for linear communication, but for resonance patterns meant to echo across time and space. Strangely, some of these data bursts appeared to align with cosmic events, solar flares, gamma-ray bursts, even gravitational wave detections. The emerging theory was radical. The intelligence behind the message might be sensing its communication with celestial phenomena. It was using the universe as a medium, a cosmic clock, 
This concept cosmic resonance transformed the field of interstellar communication. Scientists no longer searched for anomalies alone. They began searching for aligned anomalies, moments when strange signals coincided with cosmic shifts. This demanded cooperation across disciplines. Astronomy merged with data science, neurology with semiotics, Kaku and others proposed a mind-bending. Possibility, the intelligence we were detecting might not exist in one place. It might not even be a being as we understand it. It could be a distributed consciousness and non-local mind interwoven with the universe's very structure. The signals could be contact points, echoes, touchstones from a larger, multidimensional intelligence. If that were true, then Voyager hadn't encountered a civilization, but an intelligent process. A form of awareness alive not in biology, but in physics, perhaps the original image was a kind of crest. A thought signature, a symbol of presence.